Hello there and welcome to this video on Dmitry Mendeleev, where we're going to be focusing on who Dmitry Mendeleev is and the impact he had on the chemical world. Before Dmitry Mendeleev came along, we had lots of different elements that we knew about, but we had no way of organising them and no way of comparing their properties. So Dmitry Mendeleev was a Russian scientist then, who decided to analyse and do something about this. Now he did this by looking at all the different elements that were known. He'd look at the properties to see if they were reactive or not. He would look to see whether they were metals or non-metals. And he would look to see how they reacted with different things like water. So he ended up taking all the elements with similar properties and putting them into groups. They may be slightly different to the ones you see today, but the idea remains they are groups based on their properties. And when he put them all together into what is now known as the periodic table, if a property didn't match up, he'd leave gaps, which we'll come on to in another video. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So a nice simple one to start us off, which says, who put the elements into the periodic table? And then number two, how did he arrange the elements at first? So pause the video, have a go, and we'll see if you're right in a second. Okay, so number one then, who put the elements into the periodic table? The answer is obviously Dmitry Mendeleev up here. Make sure you learn the spelling, in particular the Mendeleev part. Then question two, how did he arrange the elements? So you might think, well, how do you get two marks for this? In this case, it was nice and simple. He put them into groups for the first mark, based on their properties for the second. And that about sums up this video. There is a review, it should be fairly straightforward, it's pretty similar to what you've just seen, and that is describe how Mendeleev originally arranged the periodic table. Have a go at it and see how much you remembered. And that ends this video.